Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Storytime with Teacher Andrea. As you can see, this is a very special episode because I'm not at home in my library. It's school holidays and I am really lucky to be at one of the most spectacular, beautiful, pristine turquoise water beaches I've ever been to off the coast of Aceh in Indonesia. So it inspired me to read a story about two ocean creatures for all of you. Now when I travel, it's a bit heavy to carry books. So I've got an e-book to read today. So I hope that you'll be able to see the pictures, not as well as usual, but we'll try to zoom in and hopefully you can have a look at the story. So this is called Peanut Butter and Jellyfish and it's written by Jared J. Krasowska. So let's, here we go. I have to chop my way through the pages. Hope you enjoy the story. Peanut butter and jellyfish were the best of friends. You can see peanut butter is a seahorse and jellyfish is a jellyfish. Best of friends who spent their days exploring. They've got a sunken ship to explore underwater. Up. So they would swim up, down, and through their grand ocean home. Looks like fun, doesn't it? Unluckily for them, though, they live near Krabby. Krabby's a crab, but Krabby's also an adjective to describe someone who's grumpy all the time. You guys swim like humans. He would taunt as they slipped past. That's a pretty bad insult. If you're a sea creature, you don't want to swim as poorly as us humans. Peanut butter and jellyfish did their best to ignore the heckler. Sometimes it's good to just ignore things that you don't like. People are saying mean things, we just ignore them. Did you hear something? asked Jellyfish. No, must be the current, said Peanut Butter. Krabby was relentless. That means he would not stop. You guys smell like rotten barnacles. Be you. I've seen sea snails swim with more style. My grandma called. She wants her run walk shoes back. What a bunch of bubble heads. He just keeps insulting them, even though they ignore him. Jellyfish puffed up his chest and said, Driftwood and sea stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. You're an invertebrate. You don't even have any bones, puffed Krabby as he marched along his favorite rock by himself. I guess technically that's true. Jellyfish are invertebrates and they don't have bones. Minor detail. One day, as peanut butter and jellyfish set out on an excursion to the Great Reef, they swam past Krabby's perch. They braced themselves for the usual insults. But all was quiet. Then they heard the faint sound of sobbing up ahead. I wonder what it could be. It was Krabby. He was caught in a lobster trap, and it was being lifted to the surface. Oh dear, Krabby's in trouble. I'm scared, he cried. Surely he was doomed. Should we help him? asked Jellyfish. The two friends shared a look. He is in serious trouble, said Peanut Butter. What do you guys think? Should peanut butter and jellyfish help Krabby? After how mean he's 
open to them? You're right, we have to help, exclaimed Jellyfish. But how? We're still gonna help them. I have a plan, said Peanut Butter. Follow me. They swam up to the lobster trap. Peanut Butter used his tail to unlock the trap's gate. But Krabby didn't budge. Come on, you're free, said Peanut Butter. But, but, I can't swim, confessed Krabby. And I'm afraid of heights. The lobster trap was getting pulled closer to the surface. Plan B, exclaimed Jellyfish. He worked furiously on untying the trap's knot. Hurry, cried Peanut Butter. I can see the fishermen above. Just when all hope was lost, the knot gave out, sending the trap plummeting. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish grabbed a hold and lowered it to safety. Krabby's legs wobbled as he returned to his favorite rock. Thanks, you two, he stuttered. You know, I'm sorry for saying those mean things, Krabby said. He may have been afraid of heights, but Krabby was brave enough to apologize. It sometimes takes courage to admit you were wrong, doesn't it? I guess I was jealous. You guys seem like you're always having so much fun exploring the open waters. Well, there's plenty to explore close to the ocean floor, said Jellyfish. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish still swam up, down, around, and through. But it was on the ocean floor that they found their greatest treasure. And that treasure I mean, there's pirate's gold, but it's also friendship. And that's the end of our story about peanut butter and jellyfish, and how sometimes true friendship comes in the strangest places, and how important it is to be brave and apologize when we've done something wrong. I hope you've enjoyed the story today. I hope that you've been reading a lot during the holiday, like I have been. I'm so happy I got to read about four novels. And I look forward to seeing you soon. And until then, assalamu alaikum. Bye.